Ubisoft really expected Star Wars Outlaws to be their massive game going into the holiday season, that tons of people would be buying it, continuously playing it, and all would be well, but the exact opposite has happened because the sales appear to have completely stagnated and average Twitch viewership has declined by over 99%. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting Supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, obviously, games come and games go, especially when it comes to single player experiences. But this is a Star Wars game, okay? It launched to terrible numbers, and we thought maybe as time went on, it would keep steady, even though it launched kind of weak, that it would eventually climb to the numbers that they expected, wishful thinking, of course, and that has not happened because basically everybody has abandoned the game. It says Star Wars Outlaws sales appear to have completely stagnated in the little over a month since the game released. To be fair, a month isn't even that much time. I mean, there are games that take people a month to get through if they're only playing maybe two or three days a week for a couple of hours on those days. You would believe that a title as big as Star Wars would still be selling relatively well because it's only a month after release, but that's not happening. It says it was reported by Insider Gaming that the game sold just over 1 million copies in its first month since its release on August 30th. This is a number that has been going around, and I do tend to believe it, judging by the viewership, judging by how few reviews there actually are online, how few people are talking about the game now. And it says, of course, we have secured a current sales figure from sources close to the game. At the time of writing, it had just ticked over 1 million sales worldwide, which of course is abysmal if you look at titles like Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order, which are really great. In my opinion, those sold over 50 million copies combined. We are talking behemoth numbers and for Outlaws, this is the most money Ubisoft has ever put towards the marketing for a game. They put a massive amount of cash into this thinking that it was going to be big, that they were going to get a maybe a nice deal to do more Star Wars titles, but it doesn't look like that is going to happen because this year has truly been terrible for Ubisoft. They had Skull and Bones, which was a quadruple a nightmare. I think they also expected that to still be doing well throughout the year. Then we had X Defiant and the word on the street is that they are actually considering shuttering that game because the player numbers are so low and they don't want to continue to spend money on it. And then we knew Assassin's Creed Shadows actually ended up getting delayed and they probably thought that that was, you know, going to get delayed months ago, but that's not really the point. It's just the fact that they have seen fail after fail after fail this year. All of these titles have been heavily criticized, Star Wars Outlaws especially. And going into the holidays, they need a title to make them money. And well, it doesn't look like they have one now. We also had heard we don't have digital data, and this is just the UK, but it was a weak launch for Outlaws at UK retail. Launch sales are 55% lower than what Jedi Survivor did. And keep in mind, Jedi Survivor was even significantly lower than Fallen Order. It was 15% bigger than Ubisoft Massive's last game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And Frontiers of Pandora was another terrible game. It really was another experience that you could live without. That's the unfortunate part about all of this Ubisoft news is that I used to get super hyped for their title releases, but over the years, they've proven time and time again, they do not care about listening to their customers. They're doing what they feel like and they're allowed to, but we are also allowed to save our money. And not only has the game fallen down the UK sales charts, but a retail insider shared with that part place that following the game's initial release, it has not sold a single copy of the game. Similarly, the game is not on true achievement top 40 Xbox gameplay chart either. Twitch Tracker also notes that streams of the game are only averaging 176 viewers across an average of 32 channels. At its peak, the game had an average peak of 45,490 viewers across 757 channels. It notes that the average viewers declined 87% from August to September. And it is important to note, right, that this is a single-player game. People come, people go, they 
experience it for the first time, they finish it, and maybe they will return for the DLC and all of the extra content, but that is going to be a big tell on whether or not people actually did enjoy the game and whether or not people simply decided to drop it before they even finished the base experience, because if they launch a big DLC and they can't muster a couple of thousand, you know, viewers on Twitch or people in game, you know that it's a complete flop. And I personally tried to play Star Wars Outlaws. I was streaming it and I got to a point where I faced a game breaking bug and I could not progress the main story anymore. That is infuriating. And that is only one of the bugs and glitches that I faced throughout my time playing it. And it is sad to know that this is such a low quality product. I want games to be good. I want Ubisofts to be making money. I want them to be creating content for real gamers, but instead they're more focused on creating products for the modern audience and creating products that they can put out there to up their DEI scores and get that ESG money. But we know Ubisoft's in turmoil right now. We're hearing rumors that there is, you know, a potential buyout happening. The stock prices dropped by 7% as the company faced pressure from investors to take the company private. We knew the Star Wars Outlaw sales, even at this point, were soft and looking at Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is supposed to launch on Valentine's Day now, I don't even see that doing amazing. Yes, I do expect it to do some numbers because of brand loyalty, right? People know the name Assassin's Creed. People have played the games in the past. There are a lot of just normies out there who do not know about Gamergate 2 or the culture war, and they simply are buying a game because it's got Assassin's Creed plastered over it. But I think there are more and more gamers who are becoming well aware of the situation we face in the industry every single day. And I do think that they are going to potentially lose out on millions of sales for Assassin's Creed Shadow. So of course, I will continue to keep my eye on this just because it is so disappointing to know how far Ubisoft has fallen and just how mediocre all of their products are now. But this is what happens when you market a game with, in my opinion, a beautiful actress, and then you completely butcher her face in game. You have mediocre dialogue. You claim that your game is this big open world experience, even though 90% of the open world is dead. A lot of the planets aren't really cool. The questing is very boring. Overall, just a very generic experience. And I wish that it was better, truly, but Ubisoft's pumping out trash right now. And it does seem at this point in time that the Outlaw sales have completely stagnated and even the average Twitch viewership has declined by 99%. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.